talk about love and support. Love and support is something that's very priceless when you get it from your friends and your family. It encourages us, it propels us forward, it is the gas in our tank. But that's not the type that I am speaking on today. Today, I am talking about that which we receive from the universe. The universe gives us everything that we need in order to learn and grow. The universe is always expanding and it, it helps us in our own expansion as well. It's infinite, it's abundant, it's never ending, it just doesn't stop. And we are always, every day, all day, surrounded by love and support that the universe and our heavenly staff are here to give us. And as soon as you start to believe that, your life is going to change tremendously in the most perfect way. This isn't about religion. This transcends religion. It has nothing to do with religion, but more about spirituality. So whatever you call that higher power, this is what I am talking about. Okay. And so what I want to do is just give you four tips, four practical, quick things that you can do in order to adopt this way of being. Okay, I'm TJ Sykes, and I help you expand your mind so that you can live a happy, abundant, and fulfilled life. Okay, without further ado, grab a pen and paper if you wish, or you can rewind this video as often as you want. But I think writing it down, there's power and there's medicine in writing this stuff down. So grab your uh, notebook and a piece of paper. You can pause it right here. <laughs> okay. All right, so number one, one thing that you can do is always seek out, go out of your way to seek out evidence and things that show you proof and evidence that the universe is there for you, that the universe has your back. And what I mean by that is every little thing, I mean, throughout your day, go through your day. Let's start with taking a shower. You're in the shower and the water is the perfect temperature, okay? Um, you use your bath, your shower gel, and when you do it, these rainbowy bubbles come out. You happen to like rainbows and you happen to love bubbles. The shower gel smells yummy. It makes you feel good while you're in the shower. You have a shower. You have clean water to bathe yourself. You have clean water to drink. You have a roof over your head. You have a job or maybe you are in school. And while some people may say, well, I'm kind of struggling in school or I'm struggling at work. The fact that you have options and you have the ability to do this is proof and evidence that the universe is working in your favor. You might be driving down the road one day and you get a phone call. And you pull over and you find out that you don't have to come to work, you know, or you might be on your way to work and that day, the day before, they stop the construction so you get there sooner than later. There are so many, it, it's, it goes above and beyond all of this and it is all of this. Okay, so those are ways that you know that the universe is showing up in your favor. So that's number one. Number two, keep a miracle book. Journal down all of the things. Journal down all of the things. And what I like to do is at the end of the year, I like to go over everything that I wrote down just to reminisce about how abundant I am and how loved and supported I am. How many things did I accomplish by creating this, this positive energy loop for myself? By going back and looking at all the things that show and prove that I am loved and supported. Now, what I recommend too, a, a great way to do this with your miracle book, you can either look at it once a week and go back over what you did um, throughout the week and how things went for you that week. Or you can do it before bedtime each night which is a very powerful in and of itself right before going to sleep okay all right number three 
Number three, <clears throat> excuse me. Number three is you want to shine a light on all of these things. You want to shine a light on all of these things that happen to you by showing gratitude, celebrating them with gratitude. Celebrate them with gratitude. Recognize all of the um, what seem to be coincidences and just celebrate them with gratitude. That's another way to create that positive energy loop. It's what goes around comes around. And really, that's all you want. You can be greedy about it. it it's not selfish. You, you can be greedy about this positive energy loop that you want for yourself and you can create it. Because when you do that, then things that you'll start to see things just the doors opening for you, different opportunities. Um, you start getting answers to questions. It'll be easier for you to solve problems. It's a whole thing. But right now, let's focus on the four, okay? So number four, the fourth thing is do not allow the mental chatter to convince you that the synchronicities in your life are mere coincidences, okay? There aren't really coincidences. They are synchronicities. And synchronicities are the universe's way of communicating with us. That is one of the universe's language to let us know that it is here and ever present. Okay, so you can even in your miracle book, you can write down the synchronicities as well. Is it um, the repeat numbers? Um, is it you were driving down the street and you were listening to a song that you happened to like hear in your head just before getting in the car? Um, were you on the phone with one of your family members talking about, you know, an event? Okay. And the family member said, oh, I want to wear red. And then the, on the TV at the same time, you'll hear them say something about a red car or a red dress. Those are synchronicities. Those are, that is the universe's way of saying, hey, I am here. Yes, it's me. I am at large. Okay, so write that down in your miracle book. Journal it. Reflect on it. And the more you do these things, the more you will start to see them over and over and over again. And it is also... It's also going to help the universe, God, Spirit, Yahweh, um, Jehovah, um, whatever you name your higher power, it's going to help them understand that you are ready to receive these messages. Okay. All right. I hope that's helpful. I will be back with more about that. Until the next video, live simply and be kind.